Hello everyone, welcome to the i3 Bonnie official live store. Today our topic is guide camera and guide scope. Without the guide scope, it's hard to aim in the start in the endless climb. So they will have great help on your astronomy trip. So we are going to introduce one of our new products, SV905C, the guiding camera, and the SV165 by the scope. I will introduce them one by one. First, let's do the SV905C unboxing. The package includes SV Bonnie SV905C guiding cam guide camera. Uh, a Type C, a Type C, a Type C cable and uh, an ST4 cable. Two one point two uh, five inch 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 adapter, adapter and uh, one CS two C, one CS two C uh, uh adapter ring. You can use it to match CS or silence camera. And also the dust cover the dust cover. The dust cover. Um the user manual, user manual. And a CD. I will describe some some of the most important points of the ISV905 c Its sensor is the same as the Sony IMX225. It's very suitable for the photograph of deep sky planetary. Its resolution is 1280 by 960. And the pixel size is 3.74 micrometers. The ADC is a cloud bit, so you can get detailed information about your stars or your other objects. With the high resolution, it's suitable to capture pictures. Its quantum efficiency is 75% and also the low red noise. So the SV905C has the high ability to collect the light, even checking the faint star. There are two. There are two ports on the on the SV SV nine zero five C. The USB uh the USB two. The US the USB two Type C Type C port and the ST four port. You can use the ST four cable. You can use the ST four cable to. Connect it to the Atom Guider port on your equatorial mount, and it can apply guiding software such as the PhD2 and the Astronomy DMX. Here, here is the here is the snap ring and the skill. Here is the uh, snap ring, snap ring and scale. You can adjust the uh, right location of focus. Uh, next time you use it, you do not need to focus again. Uh, it's more convenient and efficient. Efficient with the red with the red ring. I think it has a high appearance. Um, the one. The 1.25 inch interface allows allows you to uh allow you to connect the one point one point two five uh filter this part and the different uh, and uh, connect the different box lens uh, guide scope and the interface screw size is this one this part is I'm uh, I'm um I'm twenty eight point five by zero point six. 
um there there is a there is an air coating on the on the surface of the chip which can which can improve the which can improve the quality of the image avoiding the light reflection also there also there is a application software um for windows os linux users there are astronomy dms dmx capture uh sharp copper sharp cop file capture phd2 business okay uh that's all of the isv 905c if you want to get more information please log in on to our official website icebonmedia.com um now uh, i'm going to demonstrate the guiding scope uh, let's do the unboxing the iway uh, 165 guide scope Um, the package the package includes uh, includes a guide scope and a, a mount a mount ring a mount ring and the three three screws three screws and also the dust cover. The surface of this scope is used for some blasting of oxidation, so the hand touch feeling is great. It uses aluminum, aluminum materials, uh, which gives it a strong, a strong body. The tube box, uh, the tube box, uh, box, uh, box the tube box travel will reach 45 millimeters and the red the red ring is a box lock which means it can screw out you can screw out uh, this the red part the red ring is the box lock you can screw out to adjust the adjust the box until you get a clear image This part is a mount. It uses the standard screw, standard screw size, um, a quarter, a, a quarter. So you can mount this scope scope to your main scope with our dovetail dovetail slot slot. Here are here are two screws uh, to tighten the scope. You can there there are two screw holes on the on this mount. You can screw it. When you when you adjust the uh, the right. The right box so you can tighten it. You the you the you this you this two screws, and there is also a small screw, small screw to tighten the the one one point two five two five inch interface. To tighten your your guiding camera, uh, its climber is uh, 
uh, is 30 millimeter, which means this the the diameter the diameter of the of the lens is is a three uh, is 30 millimeters, and its focus focal lens is uh, 120 millimeters. So the focal ratio is four. That okay. That's all of the guide guide scope. As we as we one six five. Um. I'm going now. I'm going to uh show how to assemble assemble them. Here is the guiding camera as we nine zero five C, and um, you can put uh, put this into the guide scope. You can adjust it uh uh, uh to the uh to box to make the right box to make the right box. And tighten the screw so it's it will not drop, not fall. And also adjust this part to get the to get the, this part to get the uh, right box uh, of the uh, guide scope. With the uh, with this uh, with this uh, mount, you can uh, connect it to your main scope. The Type C is connect to your uh, computer of the of the uh, guide software and the. ST4, ST4 cable, this part. To your equatorial mount. So you can get the, you can add the, this, uh, this group is done. Um, uh, the group is easy to carry, but uh, do not under underestimate them. They are cute, but they can have a great performance on your astronomy photograph. So, uh, that's uh, that's the that's the that's all. Thanks for your uh, watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.